All right, hello and welcome. I'm Andy Mackinson, co-founder of Human Healthy Vending. I am standing directly next to Travis Miller of Baltimore, Maryland. How are you, Travis? Pretty good, Andy. Good. Well, thanks so much for uh, for joining me for a couple minutes. I just wanted to get a little bit of uh, insight on on what your experience has been so far with with Human Healthy Vending, how the setup process has been. You know, you're, we're standing here at uh, HB3, which is the Human Business Building Boot Camp, and wanted to see what your experiences were on that as well. So. You know, first off, I just wanted to get a better understanding of why you decided to become a human healthy vending operator. Well, I um, was looking into you know, business opportunities. Uh, I was just sick of the corporate world, and um, you know, healthy vending seemed to be something that I could do good for society instead of you know buying a McDonald's franchise where I would just be contributing to the problem and. Um, you know, I reached out to you guys, and you guys were very upfront with um, sending information as a resource, saying, "Look, these are this is what we've learned from the business. Whether you sign on with us or not, you know, you um, here you go, read it. Here's your research. Here's your manual." Okay. Which you know, I found impressive that you were that open with with the information. Great. Okay. So you you decided to uh, you were comfortable with some of the information we were sending, and you wanted to help the uh, the problem not not contribute to it. Yeah, I mean, I have an 18-month-old son and you know, my perspective really has changed since uh, his birth, especially since he started eating solid foods. I mean, 90% of the um, items I buy in the grocery store are organic mm -hmm. at this point, so. Great, great. so how, how has your experience been with the, the working with the human team so far? It's been unbelievable. I mean, um, it's just the operation is so buttoned up you know, you guys got the system down for, you know, how you roll out machines in different markets. Even if you're not really familiar with, with a market like Baltimore, I mean, you, you use your experience from other markets and come in and just, you know, do everything that needs to be done to, to roll out a successful business. Right, yeah. I'm really pleased with, with uh, you know, dealing with the LDA team so far uh, for the rollout. Thank you, appreciate that. So, uh, from your experience, how knowledgeable has, has the team been, the staff? Uh, I mean, what I like about it is, is it's not like, it's not, we're not selling it. It's like, you know, we're educating the locations that we're talking to about what we have to offer and how it can impact what they're doing. So it's, it's you know, the company is not full of, of hard salespeople. You might be the, uh, the exception, but uh, you know the guys. The guys in the LDA team are, are just, you know, great. They're a great resource for these locations, whether they decide to use us or not. And um, you know, they follow up and they say they're going to follow up with the locations and then with me. And it's it's a very good relationship. Great. So, uh, where are you in the process right now of getting set up? Um, well, right now, um, just making a bunch of uh, appointments. Uh, Cross our fingers, we got our uh, first three machines placed at some YMCA's. Um, uh, just waiting to get the signed contract back. So. Outstanding. So, so you're right in the middle of, of what we call LDA, Location Discovery and Acquisition. Mm -hmm. so you've uh, got some contracts coming up, a bunch of m more meetings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about the YMCA's that, uh, that, that you're getting these contracts signed? Yeah, and actually I, that, that's a great story because they contacted Human in January and there wasn't an operator in that area to you know, fulfill their request. And it stayed in the, uh, the, the contact database and uh, we were able to get an appointment and, and go in and they were already sold on the, the product beforehand. Um, so we're going to be in two of their locations, um, and then they have a indoor aquatic center uh, with an indoor pool and an outdoor pool uh, that we're going to be located in. And the swim coach, who it's like an Olympic training center, the swim coach has actually thrown out all the junk food options. He's like, I don't want my athletes you know, eating that. So. Yeah. So what sort of, uh, if you had to estimate, uh, maybe they've even told you directly how much traffic is there? I mean, what's, how many visits do they get per day at, those, at some of those places? Um, one of the YMCA's was 12,000 a month, and the other was 14. But they also showed me how, you know, a lot of times they don't get the, the check-in because, you know, they know the people at the desk and it's like, hey, how you doing? And yeah. they just buzz them in. So, so it's most likely higher so than it, what they it's reported. It's most likely higher than that. Right. And, um, 
you know, they are uh, part of the alliance for a healthier generation. And again, they've taken all the junk food out of their facilities. And uh, they had a vendor that was putting in uh, food, but that was sneaking in junk food into the, the healthy mix, and they, they threw him out. Uh, and that was the first thing when the receptionist saw me and found out where I was from. She's like, oh, we threw that guy out because he put Pop-Tarts in the machine. I mean, she said it three or four times. It was like, they're really committed to what we're doing also. So I think it's going to be a great partnership. Okay, great. Well, you know, moving on to the machines, uh, now that you've had a chance to see them in the flesh and you got your hands on through this training, uh, what, what are your thoughts on the human machines? A lot simpler to operate than what I, you know, anticipated. Really? Yeah, I mean, I think that it, as advanced technology, technologically as they are, they are incredibly simple, which I think uh, leads to, you know, a lot of the success that, that other operators have had with minimizing misvents and things like that. How do they compare to a, maybe a standard vending machine? I mean, it, it's just like looking at it, it's, it's a much more impressive, inviting, you know, fun feel. But, um, you know, it's not the coils. Like, you don't see the coils spinning around and, you know, the, the people beating on the machine because the, the, the snack got stuck in the coil. I mean, it, it, it really, it, it, it's a simple process where it just pushes the snacks out into uh, an elevator and then it drops in very softly into the receptacle where you pick it up. Awesome, awesome. Um, so uh, as far as the, the training that you had so far, I mean, what's your favorite part of, of HB3? And HB3 is the, the Human Business Building Boot Camp. What, what's your favorite part so far? You know, I think the best part is meeting other operators. There's 18 other operators from 13 different states in Puerto Rico here. So just having that network of, of people who are in the same position as me, and some that are a little bit further down the road that you can draw off of their experience and, and really you know, feel like you're, you're supported by, by not only human, but your human family across the country. Great. Uh, as far as growth, um, you know, w wondering how many machines you, you started with and what your plans are over the next three years. Well, I'm starting with 20, and um, I want to grow as, you know, quickly as possible. So okay. I think we estimated uh, my market would uh, saturation would be like 800 machines. So I don't know if I'll get to 800, but <laughs> you know, definitely want to try. Great. And, well, and you know, hire on uh, you know, family members and friends, and, and really make it a you know a business that people I can trust are, are you know, representing my company in, in the right way. Awesome. Um, do you have any parting words of advice if you had to give someone advice that's looking into the human program right now, now that you're through uh, a majority of the process, what, what would you um, give them for a top piece of advice? I decided I wanted to make a total career change. Mm -hmm. So I um, backed into how many machines I would need based on the amount of money that I needed to make. And what I did was averaged um, you know, vents per, vents per week that I, I, the information I got from some of the other operators that I talked to um, through the process and then was very conservative on the figures. And then once, um, you know, the LDA process started and I started talking to uh, John, who's the LDA rep, who actually operates a, a machine, um, and, you know, hearing some of the other, you know, vents per day that other people were getting, like, I, you know, figured way conservatively. So. You know, like he looked at me and he's like, oh, you're going to hit that no problem you know, based on past success. So you know, I think it's being conservative and figure out, you know, you, you know, use the information from some of the other operators to make your decision on how big you want to start out. Great. I think that's a great piece of advice. Well, that about wraps it up for now. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with me, Travis. Yep. Good to have, it, have you on board. We're excited about the, uh, the growth in Baltimore and uh, we'll see you out there. Thanks. Well, a new type of vending machine is popping up in York County. It's a healthy alternative to your regular chips and soda. CBS 21's Christina Butler is live with the York County Mobile Newsroom in York to explain. Christina. You know, those healthy vending machines include things like this, chocolate chip cookies with no fake oils or preservatives. The man responsible for bringing these machines to our area says they are especially needed here in York County, where one in four adults is considered obese. 
Not your regular vending machine with its conveyor belt, LCD screens, and LED lights. And what comes out isn't your typical vending machine snack. HUMAN, which stands for Helping Unite Mankind and Nutrition, vending says all of their options are 100% healthy. If you don't have the non-healthy choice, you're not going to buy the non-healthy choice. Randy Friedman with the York Jewish Community Center says bringing in the machines was a no-brainer, considering so many people use their facility's fitness center. We thought that if our vending machines were selling junk after someone just went there to build muscle and to repair body and, and soul, it, it wasn't working for us. So far, the machines have been a hit. Travis Miller is working with Human Vending to bring the machines to our area. He says it's especially important for your county to offer healthy alternatives. The obesity rate is 38% right now uh, and, and growing every year, which out of the 70-some counties in Pennsylvania, that puts us 14th. I mean, it, it's definitely a, a growing problem that, that uh, you know, needs to be tackled. There are about seven of these vending machines throughout all of Pennsylvania, but most of those are here in York County. That includes at the York Jewish Community Center, which you just saw, also at the York YMCA, and at the Spring Grove School District. Live with York County Mobile Newsroom in York, Christina Butler, CBS 21 News.